Who are Digicartans? Well, I'm one of approximately 10 million of them. And I really believe that God's eyes are on the people of Jakarta, the capital city of a country that in the eyes of the world can be seen as a scary, chaotic, corrupted and a hopeless place. That's how I used to see it as well. However, from my last trip to Jakarta with two of my friends, God has changed my perspective forever. From the perspective of a person come from a strong Muslim nation, we see Indonesia as the largest Muslim country. We think that Indonesia is Islam, it's meaning the real Islam. But what I discovered there, that God is working and moving in an amazing way in Jakarta. Jakarta is a key city. To me, if you reach Jakarta, it will impact all over Indonesia. If you reach Jakarta, it will be easier for us to reach Indonesia. Why? Because most of 128 mega and rich people groups in Indonesia, some of them living here in Jakarta. Jakarta is very diversity in terms of people who live there. Almost every ethnic group from all over Indonesia are resident in Jakarta or live in Jakarta, or at least they work in Jakarta. My father from China. In the daytime, Jakarta populated will be 12 million, around 12 million. Nighttime, approximately 8 million. Jakarta is, is, is a, a melting pot of, uh, they, they say approximately 500,000 people, you know, come and diverge to Jakarta every year. So, uh, I mean, right now I think we have a population of between 12 to 13 million in this small city. Uh, so it's, it's quite condensed and quite packed. So um, I see it as a challenge. I don't see it as something that's, uh, that's bad. I really see it as a challenge. When I was coming here, I had no idea what to expect. I heard all these things about radicals being violent against the Christians and bombings and all this stuff. The things that I always tell my, my foreign friends, you know, from all over the world is that, you know, stop looking at Indonesia as just a, a, a nationwide full of terrorists and, uh, you know, all these bombings and all these tragedies that are happening. Memang bener jarang yang mau menjangkau mereka. Mungkin juga, uh, mungkin karena merasa ada, ada gap yang mungkin nggak tahu gimana cara menyeberanginya. Uh, atau juga ketakutan misalnya mungkin kalau kalau datang ke daerah seperti ini nanti responnya gimana nah, itu bahaya ya hal-hal seperti itu uh, kebanyakan orang takut dengan orang-orang seperti itu karena mereka berpikir sangat berbahaya sekali kenyataannya sih kalau kita baik sama mereka uh, mereka nggak nggak ganggu kita tapi saya bilang uh, sejahat-jahatnya mereka mereka juga punya hati I think if some of you heard and sometimes scare you, you thought that that's Indonesia is in chaos, but I don't tell you what happened in the different part of Indonesia, how, you know, hundreds of Muslims come to the Lord. And so I think God is working in, in spite of all these disasters and the bombings that I think some of you heard. Compared to the many Muslims country I have been, I found that Indonesian Muslims are very open to talk about God. Many times I was tempted to be afraid especially going into the slum areas. But from my experience, the people are mostly friendly. Look at us at a, a, this land that is just waiting for the harvest. We're absolutely waiting for the harvest right now. I can say Jakarta is the city in waiting, waiting for revival. And it's very important for churches and agencies to work together because only by partnership and working together, we can accomplish what God tells us to do. We need short-term team to come. First of all, to partner with us, Indonesian churches, to uh, go in the field. We need short-term team to come, even to train our Indonesian churches how to do evangelism, street evangelism, street kids evangelism, or healthcare evangelism, uh, any kind of evangelism. For friends that come to want to minister in Jakarta, first of all, I would like to say that you have to have, you need to have God's heart. If you don't have the sense to see this city like God, God does, then I think you miss the point. Prinsipnya harus ada yang perlu dibayar, harus bayar harga. Tapi satu yang saya bilang, 
mintalah kepada Tuhan supaya dia kasih hikmat dan dia kasih uh, punya hati. When you come just be sensitive to the local and also uh, my suggestion is listen to you know your friends, your Christian fellow Christian fellow brother and sister in the Lord when they tell you something and listen to them because they are the one who knows the best of the people there and uh, they know how you they will tell you how to relate in a proper way in terms of culturally and I think the key for us to really succeed is number one is just to be relevant presenting the, the, the gospel presenting the truth of God in such a relevant way that we can just really impact their lives nah jadi saya bilang datang ke sana jadilah seperti kamu juga orang-orang seperti mereka if you come as a as a, you know some somebody that you know everything i think you will, you will never reach in jakarta people in jakarta but if you come with that kind of servant heart attitude you want to learn at the same time you want to share your life and i think you will be well uh, accepted by the people there and number two passion i think i think passion is contagious passion is something that uh, it infects people and um, and i think if we can just love these young people with all our hearts and and at the same time just share your lives you know uh, then we can really impact their lives i'd encourage you to be fearless in your love for the people to be bold and enter the darkest places where people are in the most desperate need of light smile and greet the hardest looking people you see and you're almost certain to get a smiling face and even make a friend you may very well find yourself talking to a person from an unreached people group be available to make friends without fear or judgment just honor them and share God's love through your actions and your attitudes just be yourself really the people will love you back and they'll be attracted to Christ in you ada semuanya begini ada banyak mahasiswa dan pemuda Indonesia semuanya yang haus dan lapar banget pengen tahu sebenarnya Tuhan bisa ngapain dalam hidup mereka orang Indonesia perlu melihat hal yang nyata hal yang real mereka anak muda terutama mereka butuh melihat orang-orang yang real yang masih muda mereka masih muda buat mereka mereka berani untuk kasih hidup mereka pada Yesus mereka berani untuk kasih hidup mereka pada sebuah tujuan yang lebih gede daripada hidup mereka mereka mesti melihat contoh-contoh yang nyata bahwa nggak uh, cuma orang tua yang 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 gerakin mereka tapi juga uh, anak muda bicara sama anak muda I always believe that if we can just reach the young people today you know when they're still 15 16 17 high school years university age you know during the time when they're uh, searching for themselves if we can reach to them and we can just show them the, the good news about God and can really change their lives and make an impact in their lives I really believe in 10 20 years when they become the CEOs when they become the businessmen the leaders the, the politicians the teachers and uh, if they have the fear of the Lord we can literally turn this nation upside down kalau menurut pendapat saya seperti ini kenapa Tuhan kirim banyak orang-orang yang luar ke Indonesia pertama menurut saya adalah tanda dan bukti bahwa Tuhan sayang sama Indonesia dan bahwa karena Tuhan sayang sama Indonesia Tuhan kirimin banyak bangsa-bangsa untuk care sama Indonesia dan menurut saya juga ini adalah momen dimana mana Tuhan lagi bangkitin semuanya orang-orang lokal Indonesia untuk kedepannya mereka take leadership tapi sebelum orang-orang lokal bisa take leadership mereka mesti melihat dulu mereka mesti belajar dulu karena kedepannya Indonesia nggak akan cuma jadi ladang misi tapi Indonesia akan kirim banyak misionaris ke bangsa-bangsa dan the time is now dan lagi berjalan ke depan I really believe the best is yet to come uh, but at the same time I really believe that right now is a crucial an urgent time for us to really get in there. Use as many tools as possible, whether it's media, you know, internet, music, or whatever. So um, I really encourage the body of Christ to really support us and just pray for us, um, and especially in Jakarta, where uh, I really believe that why, why we believe strongly in impacting Jakarta because Jakarta is the capital city of Indonesia so if we can really impact the capital city the rest will follow and I really believe the harvest is is definitely in right now so just come and be part of the harvest on behalf of Indonesia <laughs> and why I'm Indonesia I would like to say that you know we really need you guys we need you come to help us you know come come help us work along with us and uh, reaching out to these fast cities of Jakarta or even other parts of Indonesia.